Hi everyone, welcome back to my Tech Super channel. Today in this video, we are going to look at a very important concept of Oracle integration like retry logic. What is that retry logic? That is what I'm going to discuss. So before I move forward, guys, I will request everyone to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates because I'm publishing uh, videos on Oracle integration which were built on a regular basis. If you are willing to learn all those topics like integration, visual builder of the process cloud, this is a great channel for you for your learning. So please subscribe now and get regular updates. Okay, so let's get to understand what is the try logic. Okay, so let's consider an example here. Uh, you are trying to call an external API and, and that external API is not working due to some network issues or it's down for a few moments. Okay, so if you're trying to call this external API and it is down at a particular moment, your integration will get failed and your data may loss. So what you need to do, you need to build a retry mechanism, like at least you call this API three times before you actually, actually terminate your integration. Like, so you can wait for three minutes, four minutes, and then retry in the same integration. And if again, it gets filled, then again, retry after three or four minutes. And if it is actually, you know, not working, then you can terminate your integration. So how to build that kind of logic in Oracle integration? One more useful information, guys, I would like to give you here. If there's a one book which is published by uh, PAG and the title of this book is Oracle Visual Builder. This book is written by me. If you are willing to learn Oracle Visual Builder, this is a great book. You can buy this book using this link, https colon slash slash pack.live slash 3m wsnr7. If you're willing to buy, you can go to this link, which will help you to buy. This link will take you to the Amazon website. Now let's go to our main agenda. I'm going to show you how to build that logic in Oracle integration. Okay, so here let's try to create a schedule based integration. Don't try to apply this retry logic in app driven means uh, synchronous integration because it may get a timed out error. So you use this logic in async integration like app driven where you don't send the response or you build that in retry mechanism in the schedule integration. Okay, so let's try to put up so name it's retry logic. Okay, and then click on a create button. What I'm going to do here, I am going to create two variables here. Okay, two variables, horizontal, two variables which will help me to put retry logic. So I'm going to use an assign action here. Let's say variables. Okay, click on a create button. Okay, and let's try to create two variables called uh run iteration okay and here i am going to put a value as a true by default value okay we'll get that change if on a particular condition let's try to add one more which is like a how many times you want to run means i am putting a counter and i will initialize this value with one okay i'm using number function so that my one can convert into the number okay right clause clause now if you want to build a retry logic what you have to do you have to put a while loop here how many times you want to run or call an api so let's say run call api okay number number can put anything and here I am checking this counter variable. Oh, not counter, sorry. I am saying this, remove this till the time this run iteration is true. Okay. Run your while loop. Now I am going to use scope here. Okay. So whatever API I wanted to call, I will call under this 
scope okay let's say scope handler okay and click on a create button so here what i am going to do i am going to call a ftp adapter here okay ftp adapter let's say the five click next and here i am going to put a directory called slash form slash opc in and let's put a file called file.csv so this is the directory and this is the file name this file is not exist in this in so this integration will get fail on while reading this file so just putting a csv kind of file putting a some sample file and a file i can get put let's say user and then users okay click next and then finish okay let's consider uh, the file does not exist Okay, so the integration will get failed and it will go to this fault handler. I want to retry, I want to call this read file option three times at least. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the default handler and here I am going to use a switch block. And here checking like if my counter variable is less than three okay then handle this exception and here whatever you want you can do and here i am going to assign let's say increase counter click create here and here i am going to increase the counter variable which is my the variable which i have created and here i am going to use this counter variable and then do plus one and here i am also using this number function oh my god number okay creation and then close okay and whatever uh, apart from this uh, increasing counter you can handle your exception you can insert this exception messages to some database and if it is greater than if, if condition false then what i am going to do i am going to again uh, using this assign action and let's say uh stop iteration okay and here what i am going to do i am going to use this variable run iteration and will make it as a false Right, and then validate and then close. So you can use this con condition, uh, you know, in, in, in this scope as well, but that's fine. I I'm using the, there as well. Okay, so you can change your logic if you want, but that's fine. I am going to use this and we'll show you how much time it will run. So I'm going to save this integration and let's try to activate this integration and we'll see. Okay, now the integration is activated. Let's try to run this integration. It's simple, submit. Now go back to this instance ID and let's try to go there and let's see if it is integration is running or not. It is in progress. Let's wait and we'll see how many times the while loop will run. Let's wait. Here you see the integration is succeeded and let's open this integration and we'll see how many times my while loop is running. It is running three times. Now, if you wanted to see how many times this read file has been initiated, if you go to this view activity stream, you see the iteration, iteration three, three iteration. The first request is read file from SFTP in the first iteration. And then if you try your second iteration, then read file. You see the third iteration, read file, and then at the end, okay, because here if you see message received by stop iteration, false. If it is false, then it will come out from the loop and will continue. So this is how you can build this. Okay, so, so here, okay, so what I did, I have not used the wait action. Okay, so if you want to use wait action, you can do so that uh, 
so that your file adapter or the rest api can call after few minutes if the error occurs so how where you can do this if i deactivate this integration okay let me just open this integration what you can do once an exception occurred it will go there so here you can put a wait action like right? yeah you can put a wait action here like you can let's say i want it to uh, wait for two minutes before it hits second time so you can put like this let's say wait okay so it will wait two minutes then only it will go ahead so this is how you can put retry logic in Oracle integration. Right, that's all about this short video. If you have any question, please keep commenting in the comment box. I will be happy to assist you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. You can find me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. You can always see my blog https colon slash www.taxapper.com thanks for watching the video have a good day bye bye